Hello world, this is Mr. Karate Jesus here, and this is a little tutorial about the new Autodesk Sketchbook Pro, and it's not a drawing tutorial, I'm doing a couple of them, but not this one. This is to talk about the new feature that they have in this program called the Flipbook feature. And you know, if you're familiar with drawing and animation, Flipbook is pretty much something that you can see a little animation going on. And they actually has that. Uh, feature in here right here the flipbook feature and I could click here and you could go to as you can see the presets HD 1280 by 720 and you get the uh, old old format of you know video the NTSC you know 720 by 480 or you could just go full HD or you can customize it to your liking you know usually I go with this because I'm putting it on YouTube but, um, you know, you see your dimensions, 12, 80 by 720 frames per second. You go here, you know, 24 frames, probably the default is the default. But I mostly go with 30 frames per second, you know, because most video formats cater to 30 frames per second with movies and animation and stuff like that. Um, the numbers of frames here, it starts out to, by default, 240, but you can, uh, Increase it to only a thousand. So that's that. You know, as you, you know, click OK. Uh, you see your time frame just like in Maya and 3ds Max. You know, you have your time frame here at the bottom. Your playback buttons. Um, the frame start out at you know, of course, said like I said, would you put it in? You know, 24. Uh, but I want to go here. Open up a recent one that I've been working on myself. An animation for a little web series I'm starting on, uh, basing off my comic here, uh, Omen. By the way, that you can get on Amazon right now, and I'm probably going to be doing a little sale for it this weekend or next weekend. So be on the lookout for that. It'd be in the description below. But uh, yeah, this is a little animation I'm working on for it. This is my main character, EJ, and as you can see, as I push playback, he's kicking some guards, but yeah, nice, smooth ass kicking right there. Looks pretty cool. As I come here, I'm going to stop it. Now, you can, I got it right here at 10 frames, but... I set mine to 450 because that's how many frames I need to draw out this whole animation for what he's going to be doing. Uh, but you can come here, type it in, let's say 25, and it increased the amount to 25. Oh, I forgot. I had some. Oops, oops, oops. So, oh, put that frame back. What is that? So, as you can see, what I had at 10, you know, it didn't come to these two frames I was working on. And as you can see now, the frames I was working on right there and that's the animation uh, right here is what you can add a new keyframe go in a blank spot such as right here add a new frame and there you is or you can right here you know click and it will duplicate this frame here on this frame now so if I duplicate it well, it's the same spot. 13, you know, what right there. You hit Control Z on that one, you know, because I don't want to mess that up. But uh, but that's how you can do that. And if I could click here, if I want to draw something on this frame, but, of course, as you know, as your animators, you want to see your previous spot or, or for the animation. Right here is your onion skin. Now, as you see the onion skin, I see the stuff from the previous frames that I drew on and I could change the amount of depth right here with a show see <laughs> whoo that's a lot <laughs> uh, these are frames you know the show 10 frames animation you don't want to see all that I just want to see this frame one frame like this frame right here I just want to if I'm drawing on 12 I just want to see frames 
Well, you know, I mean, if I'm drawing on 13, I want to see frame 12. My bad. I was messing up. Stumbling on words. But that's what you want to do right there. And then, you know, you got your previous frames. This shows the ghost of, if you had a frame going this way, you could see, you know, the frame of 14 and 12. So, that's a little difference. You can change uh, what you want to see on that. And that's pretty much the gist of it right there. Of this program and as you go to export you can export all frames and what that does is you know export every one of your frames into uh, uh, you know your, your images somewhere so you can put it in a program such as Adobe Premiere or my favorite flash and composite it all together to make your full feature animation of your movie or whatever you try to do so this is the animation and i hope you guys like it and feel free to try this feature it is very amazing and it's a very amazing art tool for all you artists out there go try out the trial go to autodesk.com download the trial experiment with it it's also for your phones if you have an iphone or android they also have it for phones and tablets. So experiment with it. Have fun because I know I love it. And stay tuned for more videos on the artistic style. And stay tuned for more videos for video games and every other thing. So catch y'all later, y'all. And peace.